Peter, please explain those numbers at gas stations. Is premium fuel actually worth the extra money, or is it just a scam to make us pay more? Ah, story. Those numbers, 87, 89, 93, measure octane rating, which tells you how much compression the fuel can handle before it ignites spontaneously. So higher numbers can handle more pressure? Exactly. In your engine, the piston compresses the air-fuel mixture before the spark plug fires. High-performance engines compress more, so they need higher octane to prevent premature ignition. Most regular cars like Honda Civics, Toyota Corollas, and Ford F-150s use 87 octane. Sports cars like Corvettes, BMW M cars, and turbocharged vehicles usually need 91 or 93 octane. What actually happens if you use the wrong octane? With too low octane, you get engine knock. The fuel ignites too early, creating a knocking sound and potentially damaging pistons over time. Modern cars have knock sensors that retard timing to protect the engine. But here's what gas companies don't advertise. If your car only needs 87 octane and you use 93, you're wasting about 30 mm -hmm. to 50 cents per gallon with zero benefit. That's roughly 8 to 13 cents per liter for my European viewers. Adds up fast. How do I know what my car actually needs? Check three places, your fuel door, owner's manual, or gas cap. It'll say regular, unleaded, recommended, or premium required. Recommended means 87 is fine. Required means you need premium. Any other octane myths I should know? Premium gas doesn't clean your engine better, improve fuel economy in regular cars, or add horsepower, unless your car specifically requires it. Save your money for actual maintenance.